All right, in this video, I'm going to do one more example of solving an equation containing a radical. So in this case, we have the square root of 3x plus 9 minus x equals negative 3. So the first thing that I do is I isolate this, the radical. I get that all by itself. So in this case, to do that, I'm going to add x to both sides. So we would be left with the square root of 3x plus 9. Um, on the right side, I could write negative 3 plus x, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and write that equivalently as x minus 3. Now again, to get rid of the square root, we simply square both sides. The square root of 3x plus 9 squared is just going to give us 3x plus 9. x minus 3 squared, we have to FOIL that out or distribute everything out. So on the left, again, we just have 3x plus 9. On the right, when I multiply it out, I'll get x times x, which is x squared. I'm going to get a negative 3x and another negative 3x, which is negative 6x. Negative 3 and negative 3 is going to give us positive 9. So now, again, I've got a more familiar quadratic equation. Notice we could simply subtract 9 from both sides, and that would get rid of the 9s. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So that le would leave me with 0 on the left, and then I would have x squared minus 9x. And again, I like the quadratic equations where there's no constant because basically all you have to do in this case is we have to factor out the x. And then in parentheses, I think we would have x minus 9 left over. If we set the first factor equal to 0, we'll simply get x equals 0 as a solution. If we set x minus 9 equal to 0, we can add 9 to both sides, and then simply get x equals positive 9 as our other solution. I should say potential solutions. Again, you always need to go back and check. Notice if you plug 0 into the original equation, we'll just have the square root of 9, which is 3, minus 0, that would give us 3, but 3 is not equal to negative 3, so that solution doesn't work. Notice if we plug 9 in, we would get 3 times 9, which is 27, plus uh, 9 is going to be, what, 36. So then we would have the square root of 36 uh, minus 9. And we're asking ourselves, does that give us negative 3? Well, the square root of 36 is 6. 6 minus 9 does equal negative 3. Yeah, that all works. So it says x equals 9 is a solution to our original uh, equation involving the radical.